Hey guys, Fox Rob here with a replay commentary of Jungle Nunu, specifically Nunubot, that awesome legendary skin. Now this is account this is a game sorry I played on my Smurf account, which is actually in about mid Diamond 2, so it's pretty much the same ELO as my main. And I wanted to show this game because I don't play Nunu that much. I don't really enjoy playing Nunu that much, which is why I don't play him so much. And uh, I think he's an interesting champion. He's being seen a lot in the LCS, and I just he's a, he's a quite a misunderstood champion. A lot of people don't really know how to utilize him properly, which is why I kind of wanted to make this video to show it out a little bit. So first things first, my runes and masteries they'll be in the description as always. But I believe I'm something like zero twenty one nine. Or maybe even something like zero twenty five four. I don't know something something crazy. But uh, the link to link to the masteries will be in the description. And my runes, I like to go attack speed reds, move speed quince, army yellows, and five CDR blues and three magic resist blues. But to be honest, your runes can vary a lot on Nunu. You don't really need them too much because you've got your consume, which is pretty ridiculous for clearing away jungle monsters and stuff like that. So first things first, which you may notice, is I kind of want to pause just a little bit right now because as I want to talk about stuff which is before the game even starts. Um, the, what I really want to touch on is why I picked Nunu this game. Now, the biggest reason is that, uh, well, one of the reasons is that I just wanted to play Nunu. So, you know, that's, that's, that's one reason out of the way. But another reason is that the synergy in this team comp is pretty ridiculous with Nunu. Now, what I mean by that is we had two AD carries picked in, in Champion Select. And Nunu's Blood Boil is really, really, really nice for AD carries, especially these AD carries that are attack, uh, which are auto attack based AD carries. So people like Tristana, Corky not so much because he likes to use his abilities, but still it doesn't matter. He's an AD carry. Blood Boil is great on him. He's also very good for peeling for AD carries too. So he makes AD carries lives very lives very nice. And Irelia as well. As far as top laners go, Irelia and Jax are probably the two champions which have the best synergy with. Nunu because again the blood boil is just so nice on them so that's why I picked Nunu in the first place and so my items as well I should touch on I have started with Hunter's Machete a pink ward and a health potion you don't really need to start with standard items on Nunu a uh, which would be a Hunter's Machete and four health potions because your consume heals you for loads it's basically like a mini smite so you don't really need all those health potions now I started with the pink ward here because I'm going to use it just because it's like for a perma, like the the uh, the fact that it lasts forever because it's a pink ward, and also so it can kind of scout out this invade. You'll see here that I've we're invading the enemy's red buff, and we're doing this because Nunu is very good at basically when you're playing Nunu, you want to be controlling the jungle objectives a lot, and that's what I'm doing this game by taking away this red buff to start with. I've used this pink ward as well because if it was going to be warded, if this enemy red buff would be warded, it would most likely be warded in that bush, and we're trinket wards flying around at level one. Uh, Things being warded at level 1 are quite quite common. So I use that pink ward, we see it's not warded, and then we can go take it away. And what you'll notice here as well, is that I'm running straight to my red buff here. The reason why I'm running straight to my red buff is because when we leashed this red here, uh, when we did this red, Trisana came out from this direction, which made it pretty obvious that I'd started at their red. And if they'd known that I started at their red, then Kha'Zix would have been like, oh, well, he's taken my red, I should go and take his red, because he might think that I'm going to go do my blue or something like that. So in order to secure the most amount of buffs and not get anything stolen away by Kha'Zix, in order to starve him of experience and gold, I decided to go do my red buff second, not go over to my blue buff, because if he had been trying to invade me, then he would have come to my red. And we have this ward here, which will spot out whether or not Kha'Zix comes over for my blue buff as well. So I secure both of, both our red buffs and then move over to the blue. Getting a three buff start is... God damn it, camera, stop disobeying me. Is really, really nice. It, it puts this Kha'Zix quite far behind, and it puts me quite far ahead, and... To be honest, I don't really need to be ahead when I'm playing Nunu because he's not really a carry by any, any means. But still, it's all it's all lovely being ahead by experience and gold as well. So I'm just kind of right now. I'm just clearing the jungle. There's not really too much to say right here. Um, something I do want to point out point out with though is that whenever you have your passive up, where you get a free spell, you should always use that on your ice blast because your ice blast costs the most mana out of all of your abilities. And I'm gonna go and recall soon as well, but. The reason why I'm not recalling right now is because if you look at my gold, where am I? Here I am. I have a thousand gold. So I want to go and buy a sightstone and boots, most likely. That's what I'll probably be getting first when I recall here. Let's see what I get. 
not not so okay I can't afford the sight stone but I do get two warts I just get I don't go into my spirit stone I just get boots here because running I'm I don't really need the spirit stone because I got my consume your consume kind of breaks the traditional like need for jungle items and that whole kind of he's such a unique champion Nunu just because of his consume so I don't need the spirit stone uh, yeah spirit stone that is right I thought I said sight stone no <laughs> I don't need the spirit stone and with boots I can just run around I can counter jungle I can gank I can do whatever now Nunu's ganks are not that great but they're okay like if your team if your teammates are okay at ganking at following up then Nunu will be pretty successful so I tag him with an ice blast bearing in mind this guy doesn't have any flash and we go to fight him and this I wrote it just some kind of super saiyan like instant reaction uh korean level flash dodge on that axe there and so we get Olaf as first blood which is really good and now I'm just going to help this Aurelia push this lane down. The reason why I'm staying here to help her push the lane, I don't really want to take any of the CS. Well, okay, he says, <laughs> eating a big minion. I don't really care about taking much of the CS. As you'll see, I'll leave them on low health and let Aurelia last hit them. Because I'm not after the CS, I'm not after lane taxing. All I'm after is to help her push that lane out. The reason why I want to help her push that out is because if Kaz if I left her, then she would have to push it out by herself. It would take her quite long. She'd be on low health. It would give Olaf time to get back into the lane. It would give Kaz... It would, it would give Kha'Zix time to come and gank her, and that would leave her in a bad spot. So now I'm running through their jungle, and I'm putting wards down, because, you know, vision control, objective control, that's all you want to do on Nunu, it's, it's all great stuff. You're very much a very supportive champion when you're playing Nunu jungle. Um, I steal the Wraith away, and then I and then I, uh, I run out of there. Now, I do not want to be fighting this Kha'Zix 1v1. Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix 1v1 in an isolated situation, isolated setting, is the strongest jungle champion like you do not want to be dueling a Kha'Zix 1v1 isolated and no, I'm not a fighter I'm not I'm a lover not a fighter okay all I'm here is to steal jungle to steal jungles away and be a huge pain in the ass I'm not here to fight people to bully people I'm here to it's more like a war of attrition when you're playing Nunu it's not really like you want to directly bully them necessarily it's just that you want to starve them of all the things that make them strong i.e. jungle camps. So right now, I'm going to pause this right now because I want to talk about why I'm sitting in this bush and what's going to happen here. So the time is now 7.15 in the game. Now what this tells you is that 7.15 is quite a big milestone, or around this time is quite a big milestone, is your first big milestone, I should say, for when you're playing in the jungle. This is the time when your first buffs respawn because if your buffs spawn at 1.55, you'll probably kill it at around 2.05, 2.10. They take... Five minutes to respawn, which means they're going to be up again at around this time. Now, because I'm playing Nunu, and like I say, Nunu is the champion for stealing away buffs for, for jungle control, all that kind of stuff. That's why I'm sat in this blue bar, in this bush here, because I know his blue is about to spawn. It has just spawned. But Kazix also knows that I am, he knows my game is. When you're playing versus a Nunu, you have to be hyper vigilant. You have to know that he's probably going to be counter jungling you wherever he can. So he knows I'm probably going to be here. So he's on the ball. Now I, what, I think that Kha'Zix is going over to the mid lane. So I start this blue buff. Because uh, I can take it away very quickly because of my consumer smite combo. But Kha'Zix actually isn't. So what he does is he tries to fight me. Now this new new uh, this Kha'Zix can beat the crap out of me. I just need to make sure I don't I don't stay isolated. So I channel my ulti in this bush. And Kha'Zix runs away from me thinking that I'm going to try and kill him, which is not really true because I don't have the damage to kill him. What I do is I channel my full damage ulti, it nukes down blue buff, I then combo my consume and smite and pretty much just steal away, <laughs> steal away his blue buff just like that, like right under his nose and there's nothing he can do about it. Yes, I blew my flash, but still it was worth it. And then I spam the last because what else are you going to do when you're playing Nunibot? Now I've bought my Moby boots and my sight stone. Now this is this goes in the same on the same line as what I was talking about earlier when you're playing Nunu, like jungle control, vision control, supporty stuff, all that things. Which is why I've rushed Moby boots and sight stone, so I can run around the map, I can put wars down everywhere, I can do all that all that stuff. Now I apologise if that ha 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 gets kind of annoying, but I'm playing Nunu bot, so I kind of have to do this. It's going to hold me to get some CS here, and then I'm going to go over to the blue buff. Now, because we have a AD carry mid laner, and we have a top laner, uh, a Irelia top lane, we don't really need, I don't need to donate this blue buff away, so I can get it, and I can keep ahead in levels. Like, I'm pretty far ahead in levels right now, as far as it goes. And now I see a good opportunity to get a gank in here as well. 
this is a pretty good example of how to gank on Nunu. I slow him down. Mind, bear in mind here as well, I haven't used my blood boil. I haven't blood boiled myself. But I slow him down and then run ahead of him, full channel my ulti. And then I put blood boil on my ally. If I, I could have blood boiled myself and just ran into the lane. And then I would have, you know, whatever, I would have had blood boil. But I wanted to save it until Aurelia got in range. So then I could blood boil her because she gets a lot of benefit out of having that blood boil. So we get a pretty easy kill there. Especially when I have red buff, if I just run up to him and, and slap him around a bit, then I tag him with red buff. That nah, sorry, voice crack. <coughs> oh my goodness, I've been speaking all day. My voice is going crazy. Then, yeah, you know, he, you tag him with red buff and not getting away from you. I uh, steal the kill here because I'm, uh, you know, like, like a good jungler does. He appears on lane and just one hits them and takes the kill. But now because we had such a good good push down on bot lane because they're far away we can take this dragon away for free as well and again it's all about jungle control it's all about you know supporting that kind of thing it's it's important that you have good control over the dragon now I'm building into my spirit of the ancient golem here this is kind of standard it's a bit of it's a bit wasted because I've already got a sight stone so the ward on my ancient golem is pretty unnecessary it's not really gonna get too much use but still ancient golem is a nice item on him uh, the health is good, and also the fact that you get extra health scales very nicely off the fact that when you eat a golem, you get 10% extra health as well. All of these things scale up really nicely, and it, make, it can make him quite dangerously tanky. Now, right here, Kha'Zix has finally spotted my pink ward that's been here for like 12 minutes. Uh, now, I could stomp that ward as well, but I'm just a bit afraid of where Oriana is. I saw she kind of went missing from mid, so I was like, yeah, whatever, I won't risk it. I'll run away. And now, I see that Olaf was chasing Aurelia as well. So I do a full channel ulti and take him down too. Now I've picked on this Olaf quite a bit, but that's good because it means that this Aurelia has been able to snowball and she should be able to dominate this Olaf. Olaf traditionally does quite well versus Aurelia, but once Aurelia gets snowballing, she just destroys people. Now I know Nunu is probably the greatest snowball champion because, you know, <laughs> snowballs, get it? Yeah, that's a really good joke. You should be laughing. But, um, why aren't you laughing? But yeah, as, aside from Nunu, Aurelia is very good at it too. So, and considering I'm playing a very supporty jungler, like if my laners get ahead, if they get strong, I can kind of um, make them even stronger with my blood boil. And I can pill for them and all that lovely business. Now, I'm not really sure what to do right now. I think I'm waiting for my red buff to respawn. I don't know. What am I doing? Yes, I am waiting for my red buff to respawn. But I've kind of made a mistake, I think, in the sense that I think I gave their blue buff over for free. I don't, I'm not sure I contested it. Does Oriana have blue buff? Yeah, she does. Like, I didn't contest their blue buff. Like, I, I think it was because I was around here with Olaf or something. But I, I probably shouldn't have let that go for free. I probably should have at least been there to try and contest it a little bit. But I couldn't, and that was kind of a mistake, I think, in my opinion. And this... Oh, sh shit. Yeah, okay. So, let's see here. Now, because... I want to pause this a bit. Like, I, what I said about Nunu is jungle control, vision control are the two most important things. Where is the vision control here? Like, where is the vision control on their top side of that jungle? Like, where is the vision control anyway? I sure as hell didn't put that ward down. I sure as hell didn't put this ward down. And I probably, that, that might be my ward. Okay, so I've got one ward down on the map. And I have, not only do I have a side stone, but I also have this quill coat, which gives me a free ward as well. Like, this is not good enough. This is not good enough for vision control. And you're about to see. And you're about to see how I can be punished for that. So we saw Olaf run down to the blue buff, and we're like, "Yeah, Olaf's going to be there. Let's go. Let's go stop him." So I blood boil Tristana. I put my ward down, and I realised, "Oh crap! They've already taken it." Like this, Kha'Zix has kind of played the Nunu. Like he's he has stolen my buff away. That's not cool. You can't do that. I, don't you know who I am? I'm Nunu. But I really get here way too late. Like she she has so much time to get here, but she's got here too too late. So we can't really make this fight here. So we need to be kind of careful. But I try to blood boil Tristana and give her vision by warding over this wall, but Kha'Zix isn't even there. So we end up just having to run away. But the whole reason this started, like, I can I can complain and moan. I mean, I, Tristana actually did it in the chat. She was like, Aurelia, what are you doing? You know, I remember it. But I can complain and moan about Aurelia as much as I want. Yes, she should have been there. Yes, she got there too slow. But the whole reason this thing started was because of my poor vision control. So I need to put that kind of... That's, that's something I need to do better. There's no point me blaming Aurelia for it for that because there's also something that I could have done too. And it, it it can be a bit difficult to... It can be a bit difficult to put that blame on yourself when it's like an intangible thing. Like it's not so obvious that it was my fault. Um, but you really just need to take a step back and just think about it and say, yeah, actually, 
this is my bad, not Aurelia's fault. Um, so, because Aurelia was chasing the enemy team and they were all chasing her too, even though I was low on health and stuff, I just pushed out that top lane to shove the wave into the tower. I also used my ulti on the minion wave because I couldn't be asked to like, like, Nunu is so bad at pushing minion waves down, it's, it's ridiculous. The only thing he's good at is blood boil himself, so that, or like, he can eat a minion, like once every 20 seconds and then he can blood boil himself and like slap the mini wave down but apart from that he's really bad at it and i was just i was too lazy so i just used my ulti now i'm going to apologize in advance for any more voice cracks i've been streaming all day today my voice is absolutely dead i've made another video earlier as well so my apologies for the voice cracks i, I promise you i passed puberty maybe but yeah i want to talk a bit about my skill order as well this game uh, I maxed my E on Nunu. I don't, I'm not sure whether maxing E on Nunu is, is strictly the best thing to do, but I think it's at least the... it's You can't really go wrong with it in solo queue, at least, because I think that it at least gives you damage, and it gives you pretty good CC. And I think maybe if you're playing more of an objective game, like you would be doing in competitive play, or very, very high elo, then maybe you'd want to max your consume for that. But when you're just like you know, playing in solo queue and you kind of want kills and stuff. Not necessarily kills yourself, but you want to be aggressive and, and ganking a bit more than you might be when you're playing Nunu in other situations. Then maxing your E is good as well. Um, but you can max your Q if you want to. And to be honest, I think it also depends on what team you're playing. Like, I think I should be maxing my W at least second in this game. Definitely not first, but at least second. Because my team is getting a huge amount of benefit from Blood Boil. Tristana, uh, Tristana, Aurelia... Corky, I've already said this earlier. Huge, huge benefit from Blood Boil, so I should probably be sticking some points into that. I mean, after all, that's the reason why I picked Nunu, or one of the reasons I picked Nunu anyway. Um, my item build as well is I'm going for a Frozen Heart here. Frozen Heart's pretty good on Nunu because it gives you mana, it makes you tanky, and it gives you, most importantly, 20% CDR, which is massive, like really, really nice. But I actually think this is a mistake, this game. Um, I mean, it's it's a pretty good item versus Kha'Zix versus... Caitlyn and it's it's pretty good versus Olaf. It's not amazing because Olaf does have true damage, but it's it's pretty decent. Um, but the reason I think it's a mistake is because I've got I've got Ancient Golem, and with my Q when I eat when I eat uh, Golem minions, I get an extra 10% bonus health. Basically, there's a lot of bonus health scalings in my kit that I'm not really taking advantage of because I've rushed this Frozen Heart. And frozen Heart doesn't give me any health, so I think that might be a mistake. But as you can see here, as, as I was explaining the item build, I put some more vision down, like here and here, and I just helped this bot lane push. Like, this bot lane's been destroying, so I may as well just help him push. I blood boil Corky, so he takes it away really quickly, and then their blue buff spawns, so we take that away as well. Getting this sweeper, sweeping lens, you should get it. Sweeping lens, you always, if you ever buy a sight stone, you should buy a sweeping lens, like, at the same time. There's no point having a warding totem if you've got a sight stone. The only exception I would say is potentially with, what's his face, Lee Sin, because then you basically can just use your warding totem as an extra like ward hop so you can do that but really to be honest you should probably just be getting a sweeping lens anyway on him too but yeah so right now this is kind of like a hard part of the game to analyze because we're just running around the map and doing stuff um i see that top lane could maybe use my help but she's too far away like she's she's gone she's dead so i just let her die and also here actually i'm going to rewind this just a tad because uh this is if you're ever low on mana and you're playing a ancient golem jungler then just like, I've got my W up, I've got my E up, but I'm not using any of them. I could be using my E because it, it will be free, but if you spend, the time you spend in combat, you get that extra regen from uh, ancient, the Ancient Golem item, and that gave me a fair amount of mana back, actually. So I wanted, I just went in combat with the jungle monsters to give me some mana. But now I'm just helping my team as well, because my team are destroying everyone, so I may as well go in and try and help them. I'll buff them up, I'll spam my laugh, I'll see what we can do, and uh, we'll try to get this push off as well here. Just supporting them, just running with my team. If my team's doing well, then I'm going to help them to do even better. But now we've got this inhibitor, we should definitely get out of here because we're overstaying pretty hard right now. They've all respawned, apart from Kha'Zix. I walk on a trap because I'm an idiot. And yeah, we should just get out of here. We need to be careful. If we if we overstay too much in this situation, then we're going to give away Baron for free. So we need to be we need to be quite cautious that we don't accidentally do that. Now, this is also a mistake right now. I don't know why I'm taking this red buff. We have two AD carries and we have an Aurelia, all of which are very good <laughs> with red buff. And for some reason, I, I'm like, yeah, go take my blue buff. And then, I, and then I just take red buff for some reason. Like, I don't know why I'm willing to donate my blue and not my red. Like, that's kind of stupid considering. But yeah, I don't really need any buffs right now. Blue is nice, but it's not necessary. So this fight here, 
In fact, I may I may rewind this a little bit. I'm gonna play it in full speed right now and then I'm gonna rewind it. Yeah, I'm gonna rewind it in a sec as well. So this is just like this is a 2v2 exchange and I'm gonna I'm gonna explain here kind of what went wrong or, or how it how it went down and stuff like that. Um so right. I'm what's happening here, I'm walking into the walking into the mid lane, Tristana's here, she's got double buff, she's relatively fed. I should probably change holy crap, I've had the gold titles up for so long, sorry about that. Um She's ready to be fair, she's got double buffs, and we see right here, Oriana is kind of walking in close. Now, Tristana with her range should be able to tag her with red buff, and that means that she's not getting away from us. Especially if I can then ice blast her, and blood boil, blood boil Tristana, Tristana's going to be even stronger, and this should be a pretty nice frag onto Oriana. So, she goes, she pokes us with her Q, which doesn't really do any damage. But then Tristana jumps in. I ice, ice blast her. But then I realise, okay, well, Orion is most likely going to be ulting here, so I'm going to get out of this, I, which I do. I, I walk out of it, and then I instantly use my ulti. Now, maybe I make a mistake here and don't proc my ulti or pop my ulti fast enough so that Orion flashes out of it. But my main, what the hell? My main goal here was to sit on top of Tristana so that Kazix couldn't get isolation. But then once this Kazix gets isolation on me. I am a. Com I've got my flash up. I've got my flash up, but I am a complete goner. There is no way I'm getting out of that one. I do. I did have like what? I think I even had almost three thousand gold. I had. I've got two point five k gold saved up, which means that there's a lot of gold I've earned, which I haven't spent. Sadly, this is where my recording software crashed, and it's a real shame. But at least you got to see the early game, which is the most important part when you are playing as Nunu Jungle. So I still hope you found the video useful. Like I say, I'm sorry it's not the full game, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good day, and I will see you in my next video.